Well, another few hours of warm and muggy weather to go and then some big changes as we head into the weekend. Much cooler temperatures, but still pretty nice for all those graduations and outdoor events, which we'll get to in just a few minutes. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 shows a storm here on Log Island. I'll talk about that in just a second. First, I did want to point out that we have what we call a developing sea breeze front. That's where we have the winds coming in from the south and then winds moving in like this from the northwest. Sometimes these can converge and pop up kind of random thunderstorms. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this entire area to see if anything develops right over the top of us. In the meantime, we are tracking this thunderstorm out across Long Island. Gusty winds downpours, even the potential of hail with this one. This will likely move offshore, but we'll watch it closely, especially for Block Island here over the next 45 minutes to an hour. Why not? What a great beach day. You know, we didn't have sea breezes going for much of the day. That's why even the coast able to make it into the 80s today. Still very busy here at Narragansett Town Beach with a temperature of 83 winds right now at 11 miles an hour out of the west. And in Providence, we have mostly blue skies, a few developing cumulus clouds here. Temperatures still 89. So if you do have outdoor plans for the next several hours, do plan on these warm and muggy conditions to continue before that cold front finally moves on through. Still 88 right now in Smithfield, 78 Newport 85 in New Bedford and 81 in Westerly. So these breezes cooling off places like Newport just a bit 72 right now on Block Island. And you can see what I was talking about with these winds. You get the winds coming in here from the northwest, but then southwesterly winds down along the coast. And you can see those directions sort of meet up. Air can actually pile up and rise and help to the development of some of those thunderstorms. Winds are gusting right now at 33 miles an hour on Block Island. Not too bad here in Newport with a recent gust of 20 and 17 in Taunton. But the chance of some gusty winds will be here for the next few hours, especially right ahead of that cold front. But still 91 warm degrees in Smithfield. And you can see relatively clear skies over southern New England with a few of these storms now moving in from the west. Here's that cold front. It's right along the Mass Pike right now. It drifts through this evening behind it, that cooler drier and more comfortable air. So by tonight, anything that is around will be long gone. So if you get a shower or storm by 9 or 10 o'clock, it would be out of here. And then overnight, you could see mostly clear skies, a few clouds here early on Saturday morning, and then we get mostly sunny skies as we head into Saturday afternoon. Our temperatures quite a difference from what we saw today. How about mid to upper 60s instead of the low 90s here in northern Rhode Island? Temperatures in the low to mid 60s, 63 for Situate, 63 Coventry and 62 in Foster. East Eastern Massachusetts temperatures also in the low 60 was with 62 in Attleboro, 62 in Seekonk. Winds generally out of the north at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. So this all works out for things like the air show. Visibility should be in pretty good shape with the mostly sunny skies. A little cool in the morning, but kind of refreshing. We don't mind this 59, 9 a.m. noontime around 64 degrees. And then a lot of graduations going on this weekend, including URI commencement on Sunday. No rain, a little cool in the morning, but not bad. 60 at around 10 o'clock in the morning and around 66 by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Our next chance of rain comes on Monday. High temperatures there only in the upper 50s. We'll give you low 70s on Tuesday and then a bit unsettled towards the end of the week with temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. So we'll be watching, of course, next weekend very, very carefully. Right now it looks okay, but as you know, we sometimes make adjustments when we're this many days out. Why don't you just carry this weekend to next weekend? Right, that would be nice. That'd be easy. Yeah. So you're asking for the copy and paste for <laughs> yes, yes, we are. I will you do my do best. That? You can make <laughs> that happen? I can try. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Pete. We have more coverage you can count on. Still ahead, and I would.